Back in the 1990s, when I started in book publishing, there was no um, textbook to teach you how to edit a book. And here I was, a 20-something young guy, trying, very ambitious, trying to move up the ladder of book publishing, and there was no resource that I could reach out to and just absorb into my being. So what that stuck me with was learning how to edit books myself. And through the help of a lot of mentors over the years, I also needed to find out about the fundamentals of storytelling and of genre and all sorts of stuff. And so what I did is I read. So it took me about 25 years, and I boiled it all down to about a 100,000 word manuscript, uh, but now I'm gonna do it in video. So um, the story grid came about as a way to edit a book, to teach somebody, a writer, what is specifically wrong with their novel and how to fix it. When I was working on the story grid itself for years, I would kind of hide it. I didn't really want the writers to know exactly what I was talking about, and so what I'd do is I'd translate the methodology of the story grid into very easily doable tasks to specific writers. And then one year when I was working on a book with Stephen Pressfield called Gates of Fire, and I offhandedly said, oh, great, I'll just throw the grid on it. And he said, what's the grid? So I ended up explaining it to Steve years and years ago, and Steve said to me, you know, this is really important. This is the kind of document that every writer is really going to want to have. Because the biggest problem that he faced as a writer was after he had a finished draft, how was he going to take it to the next level? How was he going to make it better? In fact, how was he going to be able to edit himself before he actually found an editor at a publishing house to help him out? So over the past 15 years, <laughs> I've been working on this document, and, and at last it's ready to go, and I think it's in, in, in very good shape. So the story grid is a methodology to teach writers how to edit themselves. Over the next few videos, I'll be teaching you how to create your own story grids. But before we can do that, we really need to figure out what kind of story do we really have here. And the way we're going to figure that out is by reviewing the concept of genre. And in the next video, I will go through my entire belief system in genre, which is called the five-leaf genre clover. A genre is just a very fancy word classifying every story ever told since the beginning of time. What I've done is I've created something called the five-leaf genre clover. If I was to give one piece of advice to a new writer, I would say, learn your genres and it's going to serve you so well in the future, I, I, I can't even tell you.